Okay, continuing from uh, the first video, we're building a bass rod with uh, Rods One Studio design program. Um, I was in the process of uh, putting eyes on the rod, so we'll continue with that. Now I'm grabbing this one here. We're going to put this one at 52. Oh, we haven't cleaned up the frost. If you missed it, I was saying that these uh, are frosted on the ends, but all you have to do is just cut each end of it, and it'll clean up that frost, and then you'll be able to place the, um, the eye on the rod. Once again, we're, we're doing this just to give a picture of what we're going to build and what the cut new custom rod is going to look like to the customer. And uh, it don't have to be a perfect ride. It just has to be close to what they're uh, wanting us to build for them. So as you can see, we can set and we can cut these, trim them in a little bit. Still gives the the look that we want as far as the eye, how it's going to look on the ride, and. Uh, now we have to go and get some smaller eyes. Uh, it's uh, our guides, I should say guides. I'm saying eyes, uh, but uh, I've called them eyes all my life. But we all know they're guides. And uh, I'm probably going to continue to call them eyes, but for this video purpose. We'll call them guides. All right, and we're going to continue to do our placement. You can see it's frosted, no big deal. It only takes a second. Come over here and do a cut on each end. And as long as you've got that highlighted, your select tool, you can do what I'm doing. Now we're going to put this one on there at uh, let's see 58 we're gonna put this one at 64 and then uh, well hell I should have copied it when I had a hold of it uh, copy paste and we're gonna put this one at 7 70 I should say and we'll just put that in there and we'll just trim it in real quick then we're going to continue with that one for one more guide and we're going to put this one in 7 75 to be trimmed that much but we're going to trim it just a little bit now we're going to go back to our guides and we're going to get this little small guy and we're going to open with paint we're going to grab a hold of him copy and we're going to go back to our blank and we're going to flip him and they're backwards they're all backwards. <laughs> Depends on which side of the rod you start on. But now what we're going to do, we're going to put him... Oh, well, once again, you got to cut the frost off the ends of it. You don't have to do this to the majority of the designs that I have in here, but this one, I did this on purpose just so if you did run across this, you wouldn't go into a panic. And... Uh, there now we're gonna go grab as a tip let's see what size this one here is and oh he might be a little small I think he is copy oh now we want to go back to our oh yeah he's He's definitely too small, so let's see. I chose that one, so let's do a 60. 
So we do open paint. Oh yeah, there she is. That's the tip I need right there. Copy. Go back to our blank. Go paste. Oh yeah, that's gonna fit on there just fine. So now we're gonna just clip that, cut. Put that right on the end right there. Boom. Cut. And from the tip, there you go. You got your guides. You got a little fancy wrap there. You got a fish. This uh, hook keeper still looks like the wrap sticking out way too high. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to trim that some more. Just like that. And uh, if you don't like how something looks, you can always just... Uh, just trim it in just like I just did right there. Uh, this here has don't have a sweep to it. And uh, let's say that I have other uh, images that I could use, but I want to show you something. You can go up here, click on red. Go over here and grab this circle. Go around here and just make you a circle about the size that you think you want that sweep. And then we're going to just take the paint bucket up here and we're going to fill that in. And then we're going to grab a hold to this. And we're just going to move it right in there just like this right here. Ever so gently. And we're going to copy it. And we're going to paste it. And then we're going to bring it. Once again, you're just trying to give the customer the view of what their rod's going to look like. And uh, it's just like building a ride. But see, we got a little sweep there. You got to maybe do a little bit of artistic stuff just to kind of tweak stuff in. But we can make a nice little sweep there and bring that down to the ride just like you'd have to if you was making the ride for real. And uh, just kind of like trim it out a little bit. And that's good enough to show them that. And then. Now you've got, uh, oh, look at here. we got a whole section back here we didn't do anything with. Well, you know something? Let's see. I'm not going to use this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to another avenue in the program. I'm going to go to Component Designs. And I'm going to grab this right here. I'm just grabbing it randomly. Ooh, that's a nice blue. Just to give the customer another look, we're just going to grab this right here. We're going to go back. No, oh, I don't know what, what I clicked on. I got so much stuff I'm clicking on. Oh, there it is. Go back to here. Now, you go, what the heck are you going to do with that big old swab? Well, here's what I'm going to do because it won't distort. Colors don't distort as bad as everything else. So I'm just going to shrink that down. And I'm going to size it to where I want to size it to. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that right on there. Just like this. And I'm going to bring that up here close. I know you're going to think, what the heck is this guy doing? And then I'm going to bring it in like that. Yeah, maybe a little bit too small. Just going to size it. And uh, get that thing put in there just like that. And boom. Now you got uh, a couple different things they can look at. They can look at that. They can look at this. But uh, the, the green rod didn't show up to fish very well. If you had a white rod or a, a colored rod, that would show up nice. And uh, once again, there's a little dot on there. But uh, So in just a few minutes, we built a rod that we can send to the customer. And they can either say, man, that's great, or wow, uh, let's, let's start all over. <laughs> so thank you for watching this video and uh i hope you appreciate the uh the program thank you